the States when I was six years old, uh, and I've pretty much grown up here in the States. Um, I came to art formally later in life um, because I first studied psychology, as you know, and um, I'm a clinical psychologist. And, uh, but I think I was always an artist. And I think uh, being an artist is a little bit different than being a musician in the sense that uh, being an artist is about how you see the world. And uh, you start seeing the world from day one. And so I think I was always an artist even though I didn't study formally until later in life. Wow, um, people always ask me that, and um, I usually say it doesn't in, in an uh, obvious way. I think because it's the same person, I'm the same person, I'm the psychologist and I'm the artist, there's no way you can really separate it. Uh, but I don't consciously try to make art that's psychological. If anything, I would say that the way that it's related is that I try to focus on the positive and I try to make art that is uplifting and that um, is joyful because I think that that's what people need, basically. Um, that's what I need. So in that sense is how I think it's related, but I don't try to make work that's very specifically psychological. My main inspiration is nature. I love nature and um, plants and flowers and the water, everything. Uh, the colors in nature, the way nature moves, all of that is very important to me. Um, I'm also very inspired by dance and uh, movement and calligraphy and Asian art is something that's very important to me right now that I'm really studying. Poetry is an another major influence. I read a poem every day and um, it's, it's a big part of my work and many of my titles come from poems or from music. Music, of course, it relates to dance and uh, it's, it's all about that. In terms of important artists in the history of art, there's so many. Uh, but I would say primarily the major colorists like Matisse and Bonnard. Another major influence I would say in the history of art would be the abstract expressionists. That would be people like Jackson Pollock, Franz Klein, who also worked with calligraphy, um, de Kooning. De Kooning is important because of his emphasis on the materiality of paint, and that's very important to me. I think that's what painting is about. It's about that material of paint, and that's very exciting to me. And one of my favorite artists, who is uh, Cy Twombly, and uh, he's considered probably second generation abstract expressionist. I don't know, he doesn't quite fit into any scheme of things. Um, he wasn't a great colorist per se, but he was a mark maker, if you will. And he uh, studied graffiti in Rome. He moved uh, from the US to Europe and lived in Rome for the rest of his life after he married. And so his work has this very a romantic kind of feeling to it, which I like and I hope to bring to my work as well. But it's sort of his mark making, uh, which is so interesting to me. He used to um, actually paint and draw with his non-dominant hand, which I do sometimes, just to make it look a little more awkward and not so refined. And so I think that's very interesting. The major elements that I work with are color is the most important one. Color for me is everything. It's, it's the most important one. Uh, it's what gets me charged up is when I start to uh, work up my color palette. Um, mark in terms of the mark making 
and that's where the uh, calligraphic influences come in, is very important. And then composition is very important. Um, as you know, I'm working with white space, and uh, sometimes having asymmetrical compositions is uh, something that I also manipulate in my artwork. I started out as a figurative painter, and um, I really wanted to work abstractly, but it didn't come very easily. It really took many, many years as the work changed for me to work completely abstractly. And now the work, as you can see, it's, um, it's very abstract. Uh, although sometimes you might recognize something that might remind you of a flower or something like that, but it's not necessarily intentional. I don't know, uh, but I hope that my work will continue to evolve and change. If you look at the great masters like Picasso and Matisse, their work, they lived a long time and their work changed a lot over time, and I think that's what makes it very exciting to be an artist. Um, and so I don't know what my work will be like in five years. I hope it'll be very different. What I hope it represents is, is the joyful part of me and the playful part of me. I'm really playful and um, I like to have fun with my artwork and I hope that comes through. I mean, I want people to feel uplifted when they look at my work. And, I love it when little kids look at my work. When I used to be at the Art Center, people would come into the studio, the little kids would always kind of like my work and they would make comments and I love that. So I wanted to represent that and, and to represent something, I guess, the romantic in me as well. <laughs>